Of course, jets have collided in mid-air, but amazingly, their pilots escaped with just minor back injuries. The jets were part of the Air Force aerobatic team, the Roulettes, which was practicing over East Victoria. The entire Roulette team was in the air over the Sail Air Force Base in Eastern Victoria when the accident happened, while they were practicing for this weekend's Canberra Air Show. Two of the Mackie jets, Roulette 1 and Roulette 4, collided as the squadron was joining up in formation after a looping manoeuvre. Eyewitness News cameraman Shane Dyson was in a following aircraft, filming the roulettes as a preview to a display at Expo 88 in Brisbane. He says everyone remained calm, despite the shock of the drama unfolding in front of them. The pilots um, went into their set pattern. Uh, I think I was the only one that was uh, sort of in any sort of uh, worrying mode. They all seemed to uh, have it all off pat. And uh, how did you feel yourself at the time? It all happened so quickly, uh, it's just something like watching movies, I suppose, like you'd, you'd, like you'd see something set up for, the, for Spielberg. Uh, it just instantly, just bang, it just happened in front of your eyes. Shane's pictures show how fast it all happened, and in slow motion, how lucky the following crew were not to be hit by flying debris. 41-year-old Flight Lieutenant Dick Crispin lost control of his aircraft and had to eject. His plane crashed into fireball only 600 metres from a farmhouse to the northeast of the raft base between Sale and Lake Wellington. Squadron leader Jeff Trappett managed to control his Mackie and made a belly landing back.